This is a tutorial about the different weather layers in the ProFlight app. Here you have retrieved and activated the flight plan from Stockholm to Chicago. The next thing you need to do is to synchronize the weather layers. You do that by selecting sync at the top of the screen. And you can sync different weather layers or sync all data. If you don't have connectivity in flight, it's a good idea to make a quick sync just before takeoff. You access the different weather layers through the icon on the right hand side of the screen a bit down. From the top we have high resolution 10K weather. That's a 10 by 10 kilometer grid. Exclusive for the ProFlight app. Next, we have WOFs, standard aviation weather, 140 by 140 kilometer grid. Then SIGMETs, real time CB information next from satellite footage, and the last SIG weather chart. By selecting WOFs, standard aviation weather, you can look at Clear air turbulence forecast. Light turbulence is depicted by green, moderate yellow, and severe red. You can select different flight levels on the left side of the screen and different time frames at the top of the screen. Note that the aircraft symbol moves when you choose different time frames. You can compare this with uh, the high resolution clearer turbulence forecast. Here the turbulence is depicted along the route as bands in green, yellow and red as in the standard aviation weather. You also have vertical depiction of the turbulence at the bottom of the screen. If you look at the vertical dispersion of the turbulence, you can change to actual from planned and select a different flight level. For example, here at flight level 370, you see that the, the green band over Lopvi is wider because there is a wider section of light turbulence. If you go further up, there is no turbulence along the route. The standard aviation weather, the WOFs weather, also have icing forecasts in a similar way as the clear air turbulence, where you can select different flight levels and different time frames. The high resolution also have wind forecasts both along the route and vertically. Further down, we have SIGMETs. If you say select all, you can see all the SIGMETs globally. And you can select a specific SIGMET to get the detailed information. You also have unroute for you to check if there are any segments affecting the flight route. Next, you can select CB and you can zoom in, for example, southwest of Ireland. CB cells in real time with a vector for movement and also one hour forecast. Last, you have SIG weather chart, lower resolution forecast. And here you can choose different time frames as well. And different flight levels. And that was a short tutorial about the different weather layers in the ProFlight app.